What's up guys? Today I'm checking out Poco's brand new flagship smartphone. So this is the Poco F5 Pro. One of my favorite smartphones of last year was actually the Poco F4 GT. You know, the gaming phone with the gaming triggers. Absolutely love this phone and I still use it to this day, one year later, and I binge on Call of Duty and PUBG on this all day long. Now what I love about this phone is that it looks like a regular smartphone, but, but with the added, but with the amazing gaming features. So one year later, it's still my favorite gaming smartphone. Rock on my baby. On the treetop. And the powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 performance. So one year later, it's still my favorite gaming smartphone. So I simply can't wait for Poco to release the Poco F5 GT. And I hope it happens soon. I am patiently waiting for that phone. Now, coming back to the Poco F5 Pro, I was naturally hyped to test this out as soon as I heard about this one. So here it is. We're gonna take a look at this together. This is the 12 plus 256 variant. This phone basically has it all. I have no idea what the price is, but official launch should have just finished and the price has also just been revealed. So if I'm guessing, I'm hoping the price is between 599 to 699. That will be the sweet point. So let's see what happens. Now let's take a closer look at what we're dealing with here. So the box is black and yellow, Poco's trademark colors, of course, a yellow cardboard insert with paperwork, and we've got a clear silicon case, which is nice to get started with. I'm actually babysitting. So I've got baby Ayat sitting right here next to me. She's 14 days old. She's beautiful. She's very vocal, just like her dad. So if you hear any baby noises or crying, you guys know what's going on. So do bear with me on this one. So here's the phone. Finished in white. Oh, we've got this really nice glossy white finish on the back. The camera bump is also quite different. You can see it's a, it's a metal camera bump and it curves in from the sides. And you've got a pretty decent camera setup. It's 64 megapixel primary. 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro and on the front in the center we have a 16 megapixel front camera. So let me put this to the side and see what else we get in the box. Another thing that attracts me to this brand is the fast charging technology. 67 watt fast charger included in the box. So this charger can get you from 0 to 50 percent in just 15 minutes. Not only that, this phone also supports 30 watt wireless charging. So that's 0 to 50 percent in just 30 minutes. Now on the front, we have a 6.67 inch, 120 Hertz AMOLED display. That's WQHD plus resolution. And you do have Gorilla Glass 5 protection. And if we have a quick look at display settings, go to display resolution. You can see that you can switch between full HD plus or WQHD plus. Also, if we have a look at the refresh rate settings, I'm pleased to see that this phone does support automatic refresh rate, or you can manually adjust the refresh rate to 60 Hertz all the time or 120 Hertz all the time. And in case you're wondering, does this have always on display? It certainly does. So customizable always on display as well. Now for ports, we have type C port at the bottom, SIM card tray, and I do like showing you guys the SIM card tray to show you what to expect. Okay, so yes, so we have a dual 5G SIM card tray. We've got microphone, type C port and loudspeaker. On the side, we have power button and volume rocker. On the top, we've got another microphone, IR blaster and another speaker. So this does have dual speakers. And on this side, we have nothing. Now in the hands, the phone actually feels really nice. It's slim and light at 8.5 millimeters in thickness, and it weighs only 204 grams. This is available in two choices of colors. You've got gloss white or gloss black. Now this phone is powered by a flagship chipset. We are talking about the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which is a four nanometer octa-core clocked at three gigahertz, giving you a powerful performance sufficient to run any game you like from the Android Play Store on the highest graphical settings. So if we just quickly open up Call of Duty Mobile and go to the graphics settings, you can see the maximum supported graphics quality and frame rate is very high and max. Now the option for ultra frame rate is available, but when you select it, it's gonna drop the graphics down to low. But if you want the maximum best graphics very high, then you can also select maximum frame rate as well. So the game should run beautifully on this. So I am gonna do a very quick gaming test. Here we go. Now this phone does have 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage, but there are some other variants available. You can pick this up in eight plus two, five, six, or even 12 plus five, one, two. Get to the side. 
Nice target down. Tango down. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you've got super fast 67 watt fast charging and 30 watt wireless charging. But how big is the battery? Well, you've got a 5,160 milliamp hour battery, which is sufficient to last you 1.5 days easily with medium to heavy usage. So big battery and fast charging included as standard. And the bonus is wireless charging, which is not very common in Poco phones. So it looks like this year they've gone all out with this phone. This is truly a flagship smartphone performance for an affordable price. For OS, I just want to confirm, it is running MIUI 14.0.4 with Android 13 backend. Now this phone does also feature dynamic RAM expansion. So this phone has 12 gigs of RAM, but with RAM expansion, it will add three gigs from virtual memory. This also features liquid cool technology 2.0. So long gaming sessions will not be interrupted by any overheating messages. This phone is designed to handle and dissipate that heat. It's got the liquid cool technology built in. Now the phone also has IP53 splash proof protection. You've got AI face unlock. You've got dual speakers. So this does have NFC built in. You've got the IR blaster on top as you do get with Xiaomi slash Poco phones. A very decent in-display fingerprint reader. This basically has nearly everything you could want. Now, quick look at the camera app. So we've got pro mode, documents, video. And while we're in video, if I just select at the top, you can see maximum resolution is 8K at 24 frames per second. Or you can shoot at 4K at 60 frames per second. And this does support optical and electronic image stabilization. So expect this phone to capture super smooth looking 4K video. Now, if we keep going, you've got photo mode, portrait mode, night mode. And then under more, you have a whole bunch of shooting modes, including 64 megapixel mode. So you can take your ultra high resolution photos. I'll take a shot or two just to show you how quick it is to take captures. So 64 megapixel shots are being taken like they're nothing. Look at that, guys. Look how fast that shutter speed is. And taking such a high resolution photo means you can zoom right into the picture without any loss of quality. So impressive cameras. I'm going to put a few samples on the screen as well so you guys can check them out for yourselves. Look at the DRMs. So DRM info shows Google Widevine level one. And here is CPU Z where you can check out the clock speeds and is running the Adreno 730. If we tap on device, you've got some more information here for the RAM and storage. And under system, you can see it's running Android 13. You can see security patch level, root access information, kernel version, etc. Now this phone has 256 gigs of internal storage. It is UFS 3.1 storage. So I like testing out the internal storage speeds and here are the results. So read speeds, we achieved 1427 and write speeds 553 megabytes per second. So that brings us to a benchmark starting off with Geekbench, single core score of 1289 and multi-core score of 3867. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved a staggering 1,075,864. So let's see how this compares with the other latest top smartphones of this year. So this is my top performing smartphone chart for 2023, showing you the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. Now the chart ranking is based on Antutu scores. So higher the Antutu score, higher the performance you can expect from the device. So as you guys can see, the Poco F5 Pro has been ranked at position 11 with a benchmark score of 1.07 million. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online and free of charge at chickstech.com 
and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was my first look at the Poco F5 Pro and my initial thoughts are very good. You're getting a very nice display, superb Snapdragon performance. The primary cameras are actually impressive for photos and super stabilized 4K video. Battery life is amazing. Fast charging is also amazing. I can't believe they even included wireless charging as a bonus. The expectation is price. When Poco send you a review unit, they don't share the price. So the price is a surprise for me and you. So I guess I have to do guesswork. If this phone is priced between 599 and 699 or even cheaper, then this is no doubt a super bang for your buck flagship smartphone, which I can definitely highly recommend. If this is more expensive than 699, then I would have to tell you to consider other options. So the price is very important factor for this type of phone. Now I'm hoping that they have some sort of early bird offer for 499 or similar, and that would actually be a dream come true. And if that is the case, don't think twice, grab this phone while you can. It's a damn good performing smartphone. The upgraded cameras, the upgraded fast charging and higher resolution display with 120 Hz refresh makes this a very attractive phone, but of course at the right price. Hopefully my predictions are close enough. We'll see what happens. Do let me know in the comments what you guys think. This year, budget smartphones are gonna be quite amazing. Um, this is a perfect example. Now, with that being said, I will leave the links in the description box so you guys can check this product out for yourself. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this smartphone. Don't forget to like and sub. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.